What's up guys, Ruben here with another video and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the desktop mode that's inside of Android 10 and I'm also going to be comparing it with DeX. DeX is Samsung's desktop mode. Basically you connect your phone to a cable to your TV and it turns into a full-blown Android PC. So it's still a PC and it's still a desktop but it's Android. So Android's 10 desktop PC is not as good as Samsung's DeX, but we're gonna take a look at it real quick anyways. So this is the interface that you're pretty much greeted with And you have your settings here and your settings The only thing it's pretty much good for is to select a wallpaper and to add a shortcut. So oh. Come on, buddy Let's not select the wallpaper, but let's add some shortcuts. So we'll add the web browser We'll add what else can we add? I guess we can add Gmail. We can also add YouTube. We can also add... I'll add Cyberlink because this is the video editor that's compatible with Android 10. If you have Samsung DeX or a Samsung Galaxy S8 and up, you can download Premiere Rush and it's compatible with this and is a better video editor only if you have Samsung. If you don't, then Cyberlink Power Director is definitely the better one. Cyberlink Power Director is the better one for phones, period. But if you're gonna use the desktop interface, then I would say definitely uh, Premiere Rush is the better one. So we'll open that up and we'll start. Oh, we'll open up this project that I already did while I was at work. So I try to do this on Oh, and you can use the scroll to like zoom in and zoom out. So that's pretty dope. So I try to edit this on Premiere Rush, but it just wasn't working because I wanted to speed up and slow down too many of the video clips. So it couldn't handle it, but Cyberlink handled it like a champ. I'm just looking for the play button. Not 100% sure where the play button is. Actually, I can't find the play button. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe we could do this. There we go. So here's the video that I made on my phone. Just my coworkers. <clears throat> and yes, they are cursing me out. <laughs> this is my boy Bambina. He speaks 100% fluent Spanish, but he's from Italy. Android phones do not play the H.264 that Sony cameras record at. So you're gonna have to record at MP4. Don't know if I'm gonna include that or not, but whatever. So basically you can use the web browser. There's a lot of apps that aren't optimized for Android 10. So you got Netflix. Oh, Netflix apparently might be. Oh, Netflix is optimized for Android 10. But uh, apps like Rush for Samsung, this is the Samsung version. This just opens up on the phone. It won't open up on the desktop interface. So we'll try to open up one of these Adobe's. App may not work on secondary display. Or nope. This is actually under the developer's mode, so it's not 100% ready to go yet, just yet. But it's pretty usable if you want to edit videos on PowerDirector, if you want to browse, if you want to watch Netflix movies, or if you want to watch YouTube videos. It's pretty usable. Now let's go switch over to the Galaxy S8 Plus desk mode. Here is Samsung desk. As you guys can see, it looks a lot more polished. I think we're going to accept, accept. This in Spanish because it's my dad's phone. And we're gonna accept. So this is Samsung desk. I mean, this is way more polished. So it's got a few things already on here, like the internet, web browser. So let's uh, X out of here actually, cause I don't know what my dad was looking up. Got YouTube down there, phone calls. So I think you could drag, yep. You could drag whatever it is that you want onto here. Double click on YouTube real quick. Ooh, so. Oh, it's on full screen, that's what it is. Oh. And um, let's see if I can get Adobe Rush on this uh, phone. Rush is not available for the Galaxy S8 Plus. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer, I wish I could have showed it to you guys because the interface is actually pretty cool. So if you connect your 
Galaxy S10 2 ATV, you get the full-blown Premiere Rush editor. It's not as good as Adobe Premiere, nowhere near as good. Like, Adobe Premiere is probably like five times better, but you do get the desktop app on there and basically no limitations except for a few settings and export. Just to wrap up this video, if you're gonna choose one, if you're just gonna strictly shoot and edit on your phone, then 100% Cyberlink. If you're gonna use both the interface of desktop mode on your Samsung device, then 100% you should be choosing Premiere Rush. Cause I am pretty busy um, working on the house. You guys can see, actually, yeah, I'm a little dirty somewhere, everywhere. A little dirty everywhere. So, um, where was I at? Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one. A question that was asked to me, does it automatically become a 16 by nine ratio? As soon as you plug it into an external monitor, 100%, it absolutely does. You don't have to change anything on it. it automatically does become 16 by nine ratio and you cannot turn the screen off while you're using Android's 10 desktop mode but you can turn the screen off while you're using the Samsung's DeX mode. So for many people, desktop mode might sound pretty silly, but for people that can only afford to buy one device, whether it's a brand new phone or a phone or a laptop or computer, then this way you can get both out of one. If your kid's going away to school, you wanna buy them a desktop and a phone, you can't afford both, so you just get them a Samsung device, you just get them a OnePlus, you just get them the Pixel, and they get both at the same time. So instead of using WordPress, they'll be using Google Doc. Or for developing countries, where you wanna provide them with a computer, a desktop, a laptop, but you don't wanna bring it in through customs, because if you do, they're gonna charge you like, what the device is worth in taxes to bring it to that country. So you buy them one of the Samsung devices and then you got, they have a desktop that they can literally use to do their homework and study and for entertainment. And they also have a brand new phone. So it's like a two in one. It's absolutely awesome. I absolutely love it. Going off on a bit of a rant. So let me uh, just sign out to it.